More than 30 years ago, Leland Freeborn began proclaiming that he had seen a vision from God and was called to warn Americans of an impending nuclear attack. Calling himself the Parowan Prophet, Freeborn has dedicated his life to guiding his small congregation, a sect with beliefs similar to those of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. His main goal, however, is distributing free information on surviving a nuclear disaster. I was uh, born and raised in Bakersfield, California. Went through Bakersfield High School, Bakersfield Junior College, Fresno State College. Got married, was farming. I came down and it was the parade in Parowan on the 4th of July. And I bought the farm on that day, on the 4th of July of 1973. I bought my first 500 acres. On the 25th of October of 75, I was flying back from the Milford farm and I crashed my plane and was in a coma for three weeks. Reborn's coma drastically altered the course of his life. When he awoke, he told of a vision he had seen and a calling he received. Someday, and the Savior said, no man knoweth the day or the hour, not the angels in heaven, but my Father only. So I don't know when the first missile was going to hit the United States. I don't know exactly the day or the hour, but I can see the signs of the times when the Christmas lights are up and the snow's on the ground. This is not the end of the world. It's the start of World War III. Despite Freeborn's efforts, he won't be upset if once again his prophecy doesn't come to pass. If it doesn't happen, that's great. But all the things that I can see just little pieces, one after another, make me believe that we are out of time. If, if God says it, I do it, or try to do it. So I'm trying to save lives. If you can't save somebody's life, you, you can't save them eternally either. Freeborn will spend the next few weeks making final preparations against an attack. And if it doesn't happen, he'll spend another year getting the word out. For SUU News, I'm Mackenzie Romero.